as you can see, <laughs> the weather is not the best today. It's it's just cold enough, and we're waiting for the rains to come. Yeah, photographers are waiting for the rains to come too. So. Actually, we'll call this. This is like breaking dawn, right? Yeah. Because we've got people over at Intent City waiting for the movie premiere of Breaking Dawn. They've been there for a couple of days now. Yeah. Can you believe that? I wouldn't. <laughs> 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 They're waiting for the premiere on Monday, and today is Saturday. Yeah. But meanwhile, news still continues. We've got old Cam with comments on the headlines of today. And in China, October inflation cools, and more policy tweaks to see. Inflation hasn't cooled. I mean, what they, okay, uh, everything. The Chinese can't afford to buy anything anymore, and they control the, the government controls everything. It's totally price control. So. It's just sort of ridiculous, folks. The whole world is lying to everybody. And you know the people aren't buying. Okay, well, you can't go buy a loaf of bread in China. You know you're in trouble. You can't? You can't. People can't afford a loaf of bread. Oh, I was going to say because they're eating rice. Well, no. No, but they do eat bread, but they can't. Rice is at a premium now, too, because the... Oh, yeah, they were turning the rice over for uh, alternative, alternative fuel. That's right. And Fannie Mae tapped $7.8 billion from Treasury and the loss of Biden's. I know, and this is what, they keep borrowing money, and these guys that keep borrowing money are getting tens of millions of dollars in bonuses. They're trying to figure out what they're getting them for. Well, because we didn't lose as much money. That's, this is how Wall Street is going up, folks. These businesses aren't making tons of money. We beat expectations. We didn't lose as much as they thought we were going to do. That's not beating expectations. And fed up, McCain predicts a rise in the third political party. Yep, because he said that uh, said there was no one in the Republican Party that anybody wants, and there's no one in the Democratic Party that anybody wants. So it looks like he says there flat out will probably be a third party winner this year. Oh, really? It, yeah. It actually is the best chance that... Actually, I've seen during my life. Oh, but here's a scary thing. Now the Democrats are seriously talking about the situation warning it that the Constitution has to be ignored in certain cases, such as... What? Yep, that the that we, the president, should know that if he runs for a second term, that if things aren't finished, that he's uh, going to be allowed to finish what he started. So they don't think... They said three terms should be enough. But they uh, they think they're going they're talking seriously about uh, uh, running a president for a third term, which would mean that Bill Clinton could come in again. Oh, actually, that would be good. They're actually thinking of it because of of, of course Barack Obama. They don't want well, actually, Obama. No, it's two terms. Oh, I see. Yeah, they don't they want Obama. Obama. They, if they if say they could run the other Clinton, saying the Constitution is uh, remember that. Uh, Watch it. Obama doesn't give a darn about the Constitution, oh, so... That's true. He would just nominate him. So, well, that's true, and Clinton's had two terms, right? That's right, which means... It. And he said, he said this morning that he felt that three terms was far more than enough because of health reasons, but a president should be allowed to finish what he started, and he sees no reason why that they shouldn't be allowed to have three terms, either consecutive or non-consecutive. Now, who said that again? Bill Clinton. Wow. Well, he said that, um, he said, you can look at it this way. Say you had a, a vice president of the United States that took over because of a, of a death of a president. He, that doesn't count on his term. Nope, it doesn't. So he can run for two more terms. So he's in a sense. He said, what if the vice president took over 45 days after the, like in Harrison's case, 45 days after the election, he could actually serve, uh, serve three terms anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're trying to do it on the bit that two terms is totally wrong, so. Oh. And in, in China, luxury car makers drive inland. Yeah, because they can't sell any more cars on the experts because they don't have any money. Ah. And the clock is running down for paternal and trustees on the road. Okay, here is the problem, folks. Here comes a boy. Oh, look at this one coming in low. Coming in low? I got this one coming in Ooh, low. Oh, look at that. Coming in really low. I do mean really low. I mean, yeah, no, we're, we're shooting airplanes instead of doing news. Well, you know, they, 
often don't often go this direction, so when they do, it's like everybody crazy. gets intrigued when they come this way. Believe me, the lifeguards get pissed off about you shooting pictures of planes. So, <laughs> again. Let's see. Um, clock running down for return on okay. trustees. Um, Here is the program. problem. I can tell you, as my father was a police officer, my father said there was doing the legal thing, and then they're doing the right thing. An example was one of his uh, fellow officers, when he was not on duty, stopped to help uh, uh, an accident victim. That accident victim sued the hell out of the Los Angeles Police Department because what? of it. Our, when, when I was at USC, uh, we had a woman being attacked on the campus. I, I ran towards where she was. I, I tackled the guy. And then after I, you know, I, and the guy that came right behind me was a USC coach. He literally sat on the person until the police, campus police, got there. They sued the, you know, they sued the college. Why? For assault, you know, the guy that got hurt, even though he was raping a woman. They let the guy off. Didn't allow, the woman wasn't able to put charges against him, and they brought charges against the. Uh, uh, that is so wrong. You see, that's why my father said the Los Angeles Police Department gave everybody a lecture. We're talking 40, over 40 years, almost 50 years ago. You know that there are, there is a legal thing to do, and there is a right thing to do, and sometimes it's best only to do the legal thing because you can stay out of trouble that way. So that's really kind of sad, which is also one of the reasons that. Yeah, Paterno told the told the authorities at the college they did nothing, and it was not up to Paterno to follow up on what he uh, told them. Oh, he did. So they said Paterno basically they, they probably they've uh, retained a criminal lawyer, and I don't think it's for criminal action against him because they've already said he he, he did nothing illegal. He's probably retained a criminal lawyer to file criminal charges against the university. Because what they didn't do, what they were supposed to do legally, he got fired. Oh, yeah. yeah. So and that's something. Well, and the students want to bat his leg in there. Well, no, he only had two more bloody games. Are you serious? Two games, and that was it. And, you know, he was retiring because he's 80 some years old. But I mean, I know. Look at these players. I know, they keep talking about this because it's just like they're never going to allow it to happen because that puts all the you know, advertising in the hands of the two organizations and it just didn't gotta work, folks. And Europe, well, you know, that's why they do marketing, right? Yep. And Europe debt crisis brings down Italy's at Berlusconi. I know, and it, it's not stopping. I mean, I, I watched this morning, they're talking about it. The, they said, does it fix the crisis? No, because they got to, okay, but we'll put it this way. If you couldn't get by on 100% of your salary, how are you now going to get by on 75% of your salary? Is that going to stop the debt crisis in Italy and Greece? They had to cut the salary of employees in order to help balance them in order to get the loan. So what they did was, they, you know, you, if you don't have any money before, if you take more of it away, you're not going to, they said what happens is the Greek government is going to be tossed out and the, uh, in order to keep from being tossed out, they have refused to hold a vote. They just basically replace people. And the Italian government is refusing to hold a vote. If they have a vote of no confidence, then the government falls. There has to be a vote and the government completely falls because they'll put people in they're going to say to hell with the European Union. So, Yeah, they're going to have the, they're, they're going to have people telling uh, Italy and Greece how they're supposed to run their countries. And uh, one of the people said, "Let's see, we were running our country a thousand years before Great Britain and France ever existed, and we're still here." So <laughs> the difference. So mm. many planes coming in. And this, latest accusations hurt Kane with Republicans. Yeah, it hurt Cain so much. He's leading the he's leading the pack again and leading him in money making. Oh, really? They said that has an effect. Okay, the people that are likely to be the Republican voters want Cain above um, Romney. Romney is out because he said 
the, the bad part is that Romney has never got above a certain point, and Romney has bottomed out. Romney is starting to go backwards, not forwards. But the real weird thing is that Ginrich, who has no money, no campaign, anything, and no one wants him totally, is now all tied with Romney for a second. Really? Yep, and they figured that it, that it, that it they said that if, if I love this, if, if Charles Krautheimer and Bill O'Reilly and the others at the top of the, of the food chain on the right have their way, it will be um, Genrich who gets the nomination, even though Genrich doesn't have a chance in this world of beating Obama. Ah, uh, animosity bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. As we know, often it's all about being in the right place at the right time. 